Right, okay, so in today's video we're going to have a look at frequency polygons. Uh, these are quite nice and easy to draw, it's a nice one to kick off this statistics module. Um, but let's have a go have a look and see what we've got to do here. So um, first things first, rather than doing the questions on the screen for this video, I have actually linked a worksheet in the description just with a couple of questions on. So obviously before we get started, download that video, um, sorry, download that sheet, um, print it out, and then obviously once we've had a go, you can actually have a go on the paper there and, uh, and plot some of these yourself. Um, but they're quite nice and easy to draw, they're quite um, you know simple for us to go about actually doing um, so we're going to get started and have a look but do download that sheet and have a go at those questions but we'll be going over all the answers here so uh, this question says uh, the table shows the information about the height of 60 plants and then it gives us all these classes or groups on the left I'm going to refer to them as classes being this 20 to 30 and it gives us the frequency uh, within each of those categories and it says draw a frequency polygon to show this information okay now it's really nice and simple for us to do we've got all the frequencies given to us that we're going to plot along uh, the uh, y-axis there where it says frequency we just need to obviously determine where we're actually going to plot that um, for the heights down the bottom now because we don't actually know any of the heights we know that there are eight that are between 20 and 30 but we don't actually know what the height of any of those plants are so what we do is we just take an estimate of those plants and to do that we just use the midpoint between the two numbers so in that first class that first category the start is 20 and the end is 30 and the midpoint of that is 25 okay in between 20 and 30. If you're not sure on, how, on finding the midpoint you can add those two numbers together so 20 plus 30 and divide it by 2 and you get 25 there. Okay so you always have that option if you can't spot the number in between. For the next one it's between 30 and 40 so that's 35 and then we've just got 45, 55 and 65 just to just double check though you are getting those midpoints correct. Now it's easy enough we just plot those midpoints against these frequencies. So looking at your table, and you've just got to be very careful here that you check the scale. From 20 to 30 goes up 10 squares, so each square is 1. And going up there, 0 to 10 is also 10 squares, so each square is 1. But let's have a look. 25 in the middle, up to 8. And as accurately as you can, that goes there. 35 up to 13 goes here. 45 up to 25, that's going to be there. And then we've got 55 up to 10, which is there. And 65 up to 4. There we go. And all you need to do, ruler and pencil, first point to second point, second to third, third to fourth, and then fourth to fifth, making sure they're nice straight lines with the ruler and pencil. And that's how you draw a frequency polygon. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so this one's a little bit more interesting because the scale's a little bit different on this one. But essentially we're going to be doing the same thing, although it does say in the final line here, it says draw a frequency polygon to show this information and write down the modal class interval. Okay, so we're going to have a look at that word there, that modal class interval in a sec. Um, but let's actually go about drawing this frequency polygon. So in between 10 and 14 for this first class, in between 10 and 14 is 12. And then we have 16, 20, 24 and 28. And again just plotting these but you just have to watch out here because if you have a look at the y-axis it goes from 0 to 5 and that is 10 squares. And if 10 squares go from 0 to 5 that means every square is one half. So I'm just going to have to be very careful here because it's two squares for every one. So for the first one 12 which is two squares after the 10 down the bottom here. 12 is here. And it wants us to go up to 2 so that's going to be four squares up which is there. The next one 16 uh, it goes up to 5, that's easy enough because 5 is labelled for us, so that's there. We've got 20 going up to 12. 12 is going to be 4 squares above 10. There we go, there's 12. 24 goes up to 8, so that is going to be there for 24. And for the final one, 28, that goes up to 3, which is 6 squares up. And that's going to be there. So this is quite a little compact one here in the way that it's spread out across the x-axis there. But joining it up in exactly the same way, first to second second to third, third to fourth, and fourth down to fifth, again using a ruler and a pencil. Now for the final part of the question, the question here, it does say write down the modal class interval. Now the language in there, you've got that word modal, which is just another word for the mode, so the mode being the most frequent, but it's saying the most frequent class, and again, I referred to these here, these are the classes on the uh, left there, those categories, those groups, class is just another word for those. So it's asking us which is the most frequent group or the most frequent class, the most frequent interval there. And the most frequent is this one here with the 12 in, and that refers to this class here, which is 18 to 22. So all we're gonna do, if we're, go if we're writing down the modal class interval, is to write down exactly what's in the box there, which is 18 to 22, getting the symbols obviously as they're written in the box, and that is our modal class interval 18 to 22. Okay, right, let's have a look at the ones you're gonna have a go at. 
Okay, so the questions for these are in the description, so make sure that you've opened that up, you've downloaded it, printed it off, and we're going to go over the answers in a sec. So have a go, pause the video, uh, and we will obviously go over the answers for those. Right, okay, answers for these then. So the midpoints of the first one. Between 100 and 110 is 105. Then we've got 115, 125, 135, and 145. And plotting those onto our frequency polygon down here, we've got 105 going up to 5, we've got 115 going up to 9, we've got 125 going up to 14, so have a look, I'll try this as quick as I can, 135 going up to 24, and 145 going up to 8, there we go, and just joining that up nice and neat with the ruler and pencil again, 1, 2, 3, and joining up the last one, and there's your frequency polygon. So it should look like that, making sure it's on the midpoints. On to the second question here. We've got that this question shows the t uh, times about students' journey times to school each day. So our midpoints are quite nice. Between 0 and 10 is 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 55. And again, plotting these on our, on our frequency polygon. Not the nicest, because the midpoint of 0 and 10 here is in between in the middle of a square. And that's absolutely fine if, if that's where 5 is. you just got to make sure you do it as accurately as you possibly can. Okay, so don't stress too much about it being perfectly in the middle of a square. It's not quite as easy to plot. But there we go, 5 goes up to 4. And that is there as best as I can. You've got 15 going up to 8, which is here. 25 going up to 14, which is there. 35 going up to 16, which is here. 45 going up to 6, which is there. And 55 going up to 2, which is only there. And again, getting your ruler and a pencil, joining it up nice and neat, straight lines, dot to dot. And there's your frequency polygon. This question obviously did ask there about the modal class as well. Okay, in part B there. And the most common, the most frequent is that 16, which refers to the class 30 to 40. There we go, being this one here, our most common or our most frequent class there. And that's our modal class interval. So that is uh, us finished on frequency polygons. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. Obviously, uh, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I will see you for the next video.